Llama 3.2 from Meta just came out and it now supports small models with only 1 billion and 3 billion parameters and multimodal models with 11 billion and 90 billion parameters for vision. In this video, I will go over the vision capabilities and show you how to run the Llama 3.2 1 billion model locally using Hugging Face. If you're new to my channel, I teach robotics and AI, so subscribe to learn more. So what's really impressive about this is that the newer models that's only 1 billion and 3 billion parameters are really lightweight, so it means you could run on mobile devices much more easily without having to have a very powerful GPU as before, which was the smallest one was like an 8 billion, right? And then also the other new update is that we have the vision models. So the vision models allows you to look at your pictures and interpret it. So if you go down here, you can see some of the examples that they provide. So here you can see this is a little demo here. Now if I zoom in here, you can kind of see better. So you can see that here what they're doing is they input an image and then it tells you the description of the image here. So it knows it has visual understanding of what it's looking at. And you can also use that to detect different things. So here is detecting a fireplace and it'll give you recommendations on different things you can suggest to have a better description. And there you could even have a retrieval, like a rack type of system where you retrieve similar uh, images based on what you're looking at. Okay, so here we are in Hugging Face. So make sure you have an account first before you can do this. But here you can see we're looking at the Meta 3.21 billion model. There's also the Instruct one. But what you want to do here is you want to make sure you sign up and then it'll grant you access. So here I've already uh, been granted access, so I don't need to do that. And then next what you want to do is set up your access token. So you want to come up here to your icon right here. So click on your icon and then click on settings. Then once you're here, you want to go to access token and you want to go ahead and create a new token. And then here you could go down here to, you want to find your repository. So under here, you could search for repository and you're going to choose a 3.21 billion. And then once you do that, go ahead and click create token and then you should have your token created. So before I run my code, I create my virtual environment and then I install the module. So here I have the transformer, accelerate, the torch, as well as the hugging face. So once you install everything, you can run the program. Now here in your terminal, what you want to do is go ahead and log in. So uh, when you created your token earlier, make sure you save the token. And then when you run this command, it'll prompt you to log in. I've already logged in, but go ahead and paste your token here by right clicking. So I'm going to go ahead and run this and you get to see how fast it runs compared to this versus my old test with the 3.1 using the 8 billion parameter. You can see this one is much faster. Um, it's going to finish in about less than a minute. Uh, if you have a stronger GPU, it'll run much faster. But in terms of my computer, I would say it's pretty fast. But here you can see I have a pretty simple script here. I'm using um, just loading in my model ID and then I have some of these parameters here where you could play around with. So this will kind of change how the output of your response will look like. So it's pretty fun to play with this. You get to see sometimes um, the response looks pretty um, not very sophisticated based on the values you use. So it's very fun to play with those values. But here I would just went ahead and printed the results here and you can see this is going to be the generated text that um, based on my prompt here, which I gave, which is what are the best drinks? So we get to see what answer it provides us here. So you can see here, there's some warnings on the bottom. Um, it's still going to run with the warning, so I wouldn't worry about it. So just go ahead and let it run. And you can see that here it predicted, um, I mean, it came up with the output here. So you can see that this is super nice if you want to run it locally, if you're afraid of data um, being stored somewhere, or if you want to uh, put this on like a mobile device. Okay. So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.